Do you make a lot of slides in your Articulate Storyline project with triggers and variables? In which a user is only allowed to select one object or shape from a group at a time? In this video, I'll show you how you can create button sets in Articulate Storyline to create interactions without triggers and variables. I'm Mark Spermon from Upward Online Learning and I teach instructional designers and e-learning developers how to create e-learning in Articulate Storyline. And on this channel, I share free Storyline tips so that you can easily create e-learning modules in Storyline yourself. And are you new here? Then don't forget to click on the subscribe button below so that you don't miss any of my weekly videos. Are you ready? Then let's get started. A very handy function in Articulate Storyline, which is unknown to many people, is the button set functionality. Now let's say you have multiple buttons on your screen and you want to be able to only select one button at a time. You can make it very complicated for yourself and build it with triggers and variables, but you can also use button sets instead. Is it a bit vague still? Now look at an example. I have a slide with four tabs here and the idea is that when a user clicks on one of these tabs, the corresponding layer opens with text on it. And I want only to be one tab to be selected at a time. Now let's take a look at this slide in preview mode. Now we're in preview mode and you can see when I select my first tab, the layer shows with text. And when I select the second tab, the second layer with text shows. But you can also see that now tab 1 and tab 2 uh, both are selected. And this is not very clear for a user because he doesn't know which tab he has open right now. Now I can solve this problem with triggers and states. But I can also make a button set out of the tabs. And I'll now show you how you can create a button set in Articulate Storyline. First, I will close my preview mode and I select the four tabs. And then I will uh, right click and choose for the option button set. And here you see none and I click new set and I call it tabs. And now I'll click add. And now uh, the, the tabs are in a button set. Now I'll look at this slide in preview mode again and see what the tabs uh, do are doing when they are in a button set. When I now preview this slide and I select a tab and after that I select another tab, you'll see that only one tab is selected every time. Now I didn't use any triggers and variables because Storyline makes it so that there only, can only be one tab selected at a time. And the other tabs are automatically uh, unselected when you click on a tab. So when I click tab 3, you see that tab 2 is unselected. And when I click tab 4, you see that tab 3 is unselected. And this is all uh, Storyline what he does uh, in the background of your project. Now, if you want to delete a button from your button set, this is also uh, very easy. What you uh, must do is select the button that you want to delete out of your button set. So in this example, I will um, take tab three out of my button set. So I'll select it, right click with my mouse and go to button set and choose none. Now, if I go to tab one and go to button set, you see it's in tabs. And this is also the case for tab two and tab four. And tab 3 is now out of my button set. So before we finish, uh, two more tips when you get start working with button sets. The first tip is that you not only can use buttons in Storyline for button sets, but you can also use texts, shapes, images and characters from the content library uh, for your button sets. And the second tip is that before you start using button sets, make sure that you've given your objects a selected state when you use button sets. Because if it's not the case, Storyline creates a selected state for you. And this is a, a blue uh, line around your object. And this is uh, usually not what you want. And it's more work to get rid of your selected state and add your own selected state than add a 
own custom selected state beforehand. So now you know how you can create interactions in your storyline project where only one option is selected at a time without any triggers, states or variables. Did you like this video? Then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get practical tips every week on creating e-learning with Articulate Storyline. Thanks for watching and until the next video.